Hello everyone. This is part two of this video series. And in the part one, I showed you that how you can get the PDF files from a folder which is within a document set in a SharePoint document library via Power Automate flow. Now in this part two of this video series, I am going to show you that how you can send those PDF files as email attachment via Power Automate. So the scenario here is again the same scenario, the same document library, PP demo document set, where we will have one document set demo by Whipple and there is a folder base underscore ms which contains the PDF files. Now via Power Automate flow, I am going to show you that how you can send the email with PDF files as attachment. One more additional thing I am going to show you in this video is how you can read the users, the email recipients from a SharePoint group. So let's see this in action. So I will talk about the document library, which is PP document set. The document set name is demo by Whipple. Inside this document set, as you already know, I have a folder base underscore MS. Inside this folder, I have two PDF files. And the target of this video is to read the users, which is inside a SharePoint group. My SharePoint group name is publisher. In this publisher group, I have two users, Lee and Megan. Now, what I want is that I want to send the email to Lee and Megan, B in CC, and with the PDF files as attachments. So let's see the flow. The flow is same which we saw in the part one. The flow and all the variables which are declared at the top remains the same. So I will start directly from the try scope or try block. What I am doing here is again checking if the folder exists or not, doing the parse JSON, setting the variable where folder exists true or false. If it is true, it will go to the yes section. Apply to each will iterate all the files within the folder. This compose will give me the count of files, which is PDF of type PDF. Okay. Now from here, in this video, I'm going to show you from here, this action that first of all, I am calling a REST API on the SharePoint online site to get the uh, group ID. So you can see here underscore API website groups get by name. Publisher is my publisher is my group name and I'm getting the ID of it. Once I get the ID, I am using a compose action to get the ID of that particular group. And after that, I am again sending HTTP request via REST API to get the users of that group. Currently, it is hard coded publisher. You can send the ID of the group also. So no need to hard code the group name. Once this is done, I am using a select action from and map. In the from, I am getting the value and in the map, I am getting the email address of all those uh, members or users which are there in the group. At the end, I am using a variable where I am using a join operation uh, where I am using the output of the previous select operation. And finally, I am using a send an email action of Power Automate where in the two I am sending to a recipient subject. I am adding some subject here. In the email body, I have added some text, some test text or random text. In CC, you can see I am sending the group users via some variable. And now the most important part attachments. So I declared an array at the top array variable at the top which is collection of the PDF files, which I'm sending as the attachment of this email. So let's execute or test this flow. I am clicking on test. The trigger is manually. So I'm using the manual trigger. I am testing it. Now you see the flow is running and within few seconds, it will run successfully. You can see the flow has run successfully. All the steps have been executed with the try. Now let's check our inbox in the Outlook. You can see one email I have received. 
two is the two recipients in CC. These are the group users. And finally, I have the two attachments along with the email body. So that is how you can send the email with attachments in Power Automate flow. Thanks for watching this video.